What's up? All right, impromptu video. Um, signed up for a race this weekend to grind on the grid. We're doing it. We're here at Jungle Gyms to get a whole bunch of snacks and foods and I have no room in the car because we have all of our stuff in here. Lindsay's with me. We're gonna be losing daylight soon, but we are on our way. Grind on the grid's a backyard ultra. I don't know why I signed up for it three weeks after the Conqueror of the Wall, but I did. Any final thoughts? Why are you filming us? <laughs> <laughs> oh my damn sriracha chocolate jungle gems. Oh, <sighs> calling them out. Calling them out. That'll stalk my ass. Out of stock. All right. What's the? You're looking up sriracha chocolate. You need to be looking up how to get my ass out of here. Wiedersburg. Wiedersburg, Indiana. Three hours. Oh, three hours. Damn. Oh, we are nowhere close to that ten o'clock. I was trying to get to. That's okay. Ten forty-four. Okay. degrees which is fine I'm used to the cold at this point I could get checked in probably got about four hours of sleep not a whole lot more than that <laughs> this is the corral area so, pretty cool I'm excited we're gonna get started in less you know, in about half an hour Started. Hopefully, if you're not around the corral, you can hear me. Um, thank you all for coming out to the first grind on the grid. This is the Woo! first yeah. Yeah. backyard right. ultra in Indiana. This is a really special thing. So thank you all for coming out. Um, many of you are really, really good friends of mine. Um, I love you all so much, and I can't wait to spend more miles with you um, as we go. Thank you to Laz and Sandra for coming out. Um, right. <laughs> you're gonna get the, the real experience today. Um, thank you to Tanya and Boone who own this property, own the barn, uh, who graciously have let us uh, take it for a couple days, who knows how long. Um, and they've done a lot of the hospitality and just trying to, you know, that I could focus on you guys um, they have taken care of just making sure that this is a good experience. So thank you, Tanya and Boone. You'll see them around. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. And really quickly, thanks to Tailwind and Spring Energy. Um, they did for a tiny little startup race. They gave us some deals on things. So we appreciate So the start line for the race is the demarcation between this white gravel and the dark gravel of the parking lot. Um, 
the corral is the white gravel that many of you are standing on right now. So I'm not gonna make a you know uh, spray paint or anything like. If you're in the white gravel um, at the start of each hour, then you're you're in. If you are not in the white gravel, you're done. Dad, wherever you are right now, no arguing about that. All right. So, <laughs> Well, I nope. just set my pen up in there, so... Yeah, right? Um, <laughs> I'll just have Laz yell at you if, uh, <laughs> if you try to argue. Um, <laughs> Laz, can I get a picture with you? Sure. All right. I'm just going to take a little video and the finish line there. I don't know how much I'll be able to see you, but it's so cool you being here. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be fun. I don't have to run. Yeah. <laughs> Up here, I guess. We're, yeah, we're going yeah, that, that way. That, so. that clock was a little bit off, so we're at three minutes right now. <laughs> ah. Just another day of running. Or fast walking. Right. <laughs> Where are you from, man? I'm from West Virginia. How about you guys? Uh, not too far from here. Oh, cool. Nice. Going straight for the gravel. <laughs> She's playing the long game. <laughs> for days. This feels like a good walking spot. This is 20 minutes exact, a little bit of an uphill. No point running it. So we'll see how it feels later on. Two miles <laughs> at the end of the road here. So it's just the first lap, but it's just impossible to know like who's holding back. Because some people are quite far. <laughs> Some people are quite farther away than others to a little halfway turnaround, which doesn't matter. It's not like anybody's in danger of that. But I gotta wonder, is that the is that the long crew? Or is that the long crew? It's hard to tell. I'm trying to just kind of stay in between. Go easy and uh, see how it goes. First lap, I just need to learn the lap. After that, I can do my own thing. Hey, at least we got a little view. <laughs> Ooh, that's so pretty. Go backwards for a little bit.
I might need to get some sunglasses out. <laughs> A little sunburn out here. They did a good look at that barn last night. There's Tent City though. Where's the green tent? Right up front. Oh man, it smells like bacon. It smells a lot like bacon. Lindsay's in there. <laughs> but she's sleeping. Probably. Where we enter the wet trailing sector. It's actually a little frozen right now. So that's at least good. It's gonna be pretty nasty later. But it warms up and everybody starts crushing down on it. But it's only about a half a mile. Yeah, that's not gonna be a lot of fun. But I might be looking for some straw to climb on. Right now the ground's a little frozen, which is good. Oop. I already got some water in my socks. That sucks. Looks like our little turnaround here. Nice wide loop. Thankful for that. Well, we are almost to the end of lap one. Almost. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Twenty-six. All right. What's my like good job, point? 26. Just tell you, and I'm good. Yeah. See. Yep. I guess I just have to sit now. <laughs> Take a sit. See if one's. Got hot pretty quick. Did not take long. That sucks. Little hole. Keeps getting bigger. Need to learn how to sew. and body armors and stuff like that. So. Whoo, lap three is done. So far so good, pretty much coming in at the same time every lap. Uh, have about 17 minutes to spare right now. Um, feels good, might be a little fast. I might need to plan a little bit more of a walking uh, strategy here. I was gonna do 20 and 10, 20 minutes run, 20, 10 minutes walk. <clears throat> now that it's been a few hours, I probably should start thinking about doing that. But this whole section here, you know, where you just rest and take a break is like, it's different. <laughs> it 
it's a lot different. All right, guys, four laps in. Time for a little break, and it's getting a little warm. So take off this guy because he is very hot. Put something else on that's long sleeves, but not quite so hot. It's going well. I'm enjoying it. Legs are feeling it a little bit. That lap was like a minute slower, not a big deal. It felt like I was going a lot slower, which was not unintentional. Oh, let's break this shirt out. this guy off and now that it's warming up it feels pretty good but I'm over layered now so stomach was feeling a little upset I think I probably put too much in my stomach so I'm going to take a little bit of break from eating drink a little bit still but a little bit of a, a break from eating but yeah, it's going well. I'm enjoying this a lot. And I'm really enjoying this part. <laughs> the, the relax and sit and just rest your legs part. Lap five is done. I'm thinking I might need to uh, put some stakes down because the tent, oh, it's getting a little windy. I do not need a repeat of Conquer the Wall. I got 10 minutes, I gotta do it. <laughs> so. This is just gonna be a video of me sitting in my chair the whole time. Like, you're not even gonna think that I ran anything. I just don't feel like taking the camera out. It's just a boring kind of run. And, and, you know, not much to see. Um, but we are two, six yards in. Is that what they call them? Yeah, six yards, uh, 25 miles. There's uh, 22, 22 left, I think, something like that. But the 22 who are left, I think, are the ones who want to, to go keep going for a while. So I expect it'll be uh, take a lot longer now for people to drop. But it's all good. It's still early days. Feeling good. Keeping things light and mobile. Trying to rest my legs. I did get the stakes on the tent, so. Seven yards in, and I gotta use the bathroom. Coming to you live. Seven laps in, whatever many miles that translates to. Mm. Feeling good. Rest my legs. Him with the massage gun. Eight laps in, about to start number nine. On oh, laps or yards?
there. Keep asking people to move the, 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 the tire that we gotta go around to keep asking them to move it closer, but nobody wants to cheat. <laughs> so much wind on this whole section it's nuts until so we make the turn and then the wind is coming this way so it's pushing against us a lot from the side it's not so bad i'll be honest i'll take uh loops over this straight line shit any day <laughs> it's mentally taxing to look forward and like uh. <laughs> good on all the things Been doing leg swings in the beginning of each loop and crouching down and eating usually at least 100 calories and then eating and drinking in the tent We've used the massage gun a couple of times feeling good Finish this loop, take a poop, and put some rain stuff on. Oh, I got a poop. Oh, I got a poop, I got a poop, I got a poop. I gotta finish this loop before I can a poop. All right, I didn't get soaked. That's always a plus. There's just one problem. It's too dry. Can you do something about that? Three whistles have been blown. Time to get back out and get rained on. <laughs> Ooh, we're 11 loops in. Um, I'm definitely feeling the um, the lack of recovery between this and Conquer the Wall. <sighs> Not my smartest decision. But I will persevere until I can't. That's the name of the game. Hey guys, Josh from the future here. Um, so I was, I was editing this video and I kind of have an abrupt transition between this clip and the next one. So I wanted to kind of explain what happened in between so between uh on the 11th lap mile 46 to 50 uh lindsay had spent the whole day in indianapolis so she wasn't really crewing me actively until later um the, during the day so she finally got back uh earlier than i'd actually expected her to between the 11th hour basically um and i actually saw her driving the car uh back so i asked her you know, if she could have some chicken noodle soup ready for me, something hot, um, and that would all be great, you know. So I get back to the tent at 50 miles, 12 hours in, and um, a bunch of stuff is on the outside of the tent, which was not there before. And so I'm like, okay, maybe she's trying She's trying to cook on the outside. Um, then I go inside the tent, and there's a bunch of stuff in my chair, which... I was kind of mad about because like that's my sitting chair <laughs> that's that's where i've been spending an awful lot of time uh in the last 12 hours and there's all this junk in it and then i look around and there's just junk everywhere and i don't mean junk i mean my food my 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 everything my gear all of it's flown across the floor of the tent 
um, the, the table is totally cleared off. And I'm like, what, what happened here? Like it was fine for 11 hours. And then Lindsay shows up and it's all destroyed. <laughs> so I was, I was a little bit mad, honestly. Um, nothing to do with her though. Uh, it was the wind, uh, was starting to buckle the tent. So like normally the tent's like a dome shape. Well, it, what was happening was the, the dome was turning into like a convex shape. It was like getting crunched in and oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm start, start sitting there and I'm like watching the wind blow my tent. All the stakes got ripped out of the ground. And Lindsay had like triple staked everything um, during while while the wind was hitting, um, and the and the tent was like starting to cave into my face. Like, you know, I, I had a it was a big tent, right? It's a big tent. Uh, I, I I never in a million years thought there'd be so much wind that it would be buckling under wind uh, the way that it was. Um, so at that point, I'm starting to think like how. How feasible is this to continue on, given that this tent is everything to us for this weekend? I mean, it's everything. Um, it's it's how I get my food, it's my my water, my hot food. Um, it's it's how Lindsay gets rest so that she can drive us home safely. Like I was counting on her to be able to sleep in that tent. Uh, Saturday night, you know, I could mostly crew myself for a few hours at a time and ask her to get up and have something ready for me, you know, something hot or fill my thermos. But it was starting to get to that point where I didn't see a way that she was going to be able to sleep in the tent at all. Uh, and the wind was not letting up. It uh, was only getting worse. Um, you know, she, so we had a conversation about it. She offered to sleep in the car, but the temperatures were going to get down into the low 30s um, unless I were to leave the car on. There was going to be no way she was really going to be able to get comfortable and stay warm. And even even then, now we're just saying, well, let's just leave the tent as is. She's going to sleep in the car. I'm not going to have any help from her. And the tent's going to be destroyed, all the stuff. I mean, I was really worried about the rain fly just ripping right off. And I was worried about the tent, like the the... I was just worried about it getting just totally destroyed. Might have over worried about it. I don't know. Um, but in that moment, it, it did not seem very feasible to continue going. Um, I did take one more lap. Um, I, I ended up going 13 laps. Be just just to see, you know, if I went one more, come back, then what's it look like? Well, if you know, if we call it at that point, we still have some daylight where we can start taking apart stuff, basically. Huh? I would rather, well, I mean, look, this thing is falling apart. I don't want to lose this tent. It's going to be a much bigger pain in the ass to get this apart in, in the dark, which is going to happen soon. I think I'm gonna call it. Huh? I don't want you to be uncomfortable. That's yeah, but think about what that means. I mean, if I go two more hours, three more hours, it's gonna be pitched black, and you're gonna have to tear this thing down in the dark, and it's it's just gonna it, it's it's gonna be hard. I'm okay. I'm okay calling it. I'm not gonna be able to go as far as I'd like. I would rather just save my legs. At this point. I'm not quitting because of you. I'm quitting because I'm happy with what I've done. I don't need to. I don't need any more, really. I mean, this is just gonna get harder and harder to deal with, and then it's gonna be dark. So. Huh? No way we can sleep like this tonight. No, I mean, there's. You're not gonna get any sleep, which is gonna put us in danger trying to get home tomorrow. Yes. 
sleep in the car if I have to. You're not gonna be able to sleep in the car. I can. This mattress won't fit in the car. I don't need a mattress to sleep in a seat. You're not gonna be able to get any sleep that way though. It's over. fine. It's fine. It's it's eight o'clock. You got enough energy to drive us home. Let's just do that. Yes, we're making a logistical choice. This is this is not ideal, but to get safely home, we're calling it. You're not gonna be able to get an ounce of sleep in the car, neither am I. I mean, I could keep on running through the night and try and make it to the dip to 100. I don't think I'll actually get there. <clears throat> I don't think I'm rested enough. There's always a chance. But I mean, look, if you're in the car, you're not gonna help me any. You're not gonna be able to help me any. And I can't get any hot food going. I mean, I'm gonna be coming in with a minute left every lap and then I'm not gonna, yeah. Yeah, I can't like that grill. All right, that's why I'm... I tried to try and try to yeah. for your lips. I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm happy. This was, this was a lot of fun. And I would rather leave feeling good than and be able to work on Monday and have the experience. This was fun, but this part, this will not be fun. This will, this will, this will turn into chaos. I wasn't anticipating this. I know, I wasn't either. I thought this tent would hold up better. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let him know. Hey, how are you? Just got on. Oh, hang up. One, two, three. That was awesome. Awesome, gotcha. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh wait, I need to take you too. West Virginia. You can make a note too if you want. You can, you can, uh, you know, you know, why I quit. You, you know, I don't care. You say fuck Matt or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. awesome. Thanks. Enjoy with you. Oh yeah, it's a blast. It's a blast. Yeah. Um, no, my wife's here. Oh. <laughs> I just want to race with good weather. Like, god damn it. The tents are not supposed to look like this. Oh. We made the right call. I made the right call. Lindsay just, went, Lindsay just let me make the right call. This is nuts. This is nuts. <sighs> There's no, there's no good way we would have been able to get all this stuff packed during the night. There's no way she was going to be able to sleep in the car or in this tent. It would have been very difficult and not safe for us to try to get home tomorrow with her having no sleep and then this just being out here all night like this, falling the fuck apart like it's about to. Like it's literally on my back right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's just nuts. Just nuts. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay, now whatever they got, they got like a reinforced fucking canopy or something made of steel. That's what I need. I need to stop buying this cheap shit. Now, to be fair, I bought this on Amazon for like 20 bucks a long time ago. I never had any problems with it. But I've also never had it on the top of Mount fucking Everest st style winds. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs>